It is 10 a.m. Um, I just pulled up to Whole Foods and um, I'm probably gonna get some snacks, but I was feeling super emotional in the car. I was listening to Drops of Jupiter and it was pouring rain this morning. It's still kind of drizzling right now, but I was listening to Drops of Jupiter and I just started crying because there was a line and it's it says five hour phone conversation and it made me just like think about when I was younger and I would like FaceTime and call my friends and talk to them for hours and like sometimes we wouldn't even talk for like an hour like we'd just be there like on our computers or like our laptops but we'd just be like talking randomly or just like being present with each other on the phone and I really miss that type of connection i feel like as i've gotten older i've just gotten more like anxiety of like oh i'm on the phone too much with i'm i'm bothering this person i'm calling too much or like i'm being annoying i'm talking too much like all that stuff and like when you're younger you don't you don't have those type of insecurities or like anxieties on your mind you're just like oh like yeah i'm gonna call and then when they hang up like they've got to go but now i'm like Oh, this person hung up like I was talking too too much and like it's gotten to the point where like I don't even try to like call someone or be on the phone with them for a long time and spend time because I just want to cancel out even the possibility of them thinking I'm annoying or taking up their time and it just made me really sad to think that about myself and and I'm not saying like I don't have those people in my life that I can actually like call and talk to you for hours I do but the older you get the busier everyone is and you know everyone's on their own schedule and it just like really it, it made me feel like damn I'm getting older like life is changing and I'm not like a little kid with all the time in the world anymore and <laughs> that shit is depressing <laughs> that happened and I don't know I don't know there's definitely a lesson there maybe I need to call more of my friends and let them know I love them and love listening to them and being around them <laughs> I guess I'll just figure it out let me know if you guys experience this <laughs> or maybe I just need to go to therapy <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go into Whole Foods and get some snacks a few minutes later okay we are back and I am going to take a core wellness ginger shot i absolutely love these shots from whole foods i've tried the ones from trader joe's and personally i like this brand the best if you want to see it core i don't know they make me feel really good they just like make my body feel so much better so down the hatch Can really taste the ginger. Just got home. Time for a little unboxing. So I grabbed some bananas, some potatoes, because I want to try and recreate the mashed potatoes and um, sweet corn and quinoa that Flower Child makes. Yeah, I just got regular quinoa. I bought some sweet corn. So we're gonna attempt to recreate it. We'll see how that goes tonight. Thought I'd try this dark chocolate protein. Mmm. Tastes like a brownie. And then I really like to snack on sugar snap peas. Got two avocados because I want to make pasta salad. And I got orzo noodles to make that with, as well as sweet cherry tomatoes. And like I told you guys, I really love these shots. So. I literally got them in every single kind. I got turmeric, turmeric, I don't know how to say it. I got the black magic. I've never had this one. Looks kind of scary. Activated charcoal, ginger juice, lemon juice, and coconut juice. And then immune, this one's good, I've had it before. And then we've got the potency. And then gut check, I've had this one too and makes me feel a lot better about myself. I love taking these shots like every day. Then I um, bought some chicken 
I always just get regular chicken to make coconut curry. Oh, I also got this protein shake in vanilla. Okay, and then the last few things I got, I love pomegranate. These are my favorite pressed juices. Once again, these are Whole Foods, and I got, this one is called Lava, orange and strawberry. Like, these juices are freaking amazing. I'm addicted. This is the eye opener. It's orange, carrot, and apple. And then this one is the Golden Aid. Apple, water, lemon, ginger, and turmeric. Yum. All right, so that's it for my little haul. A few moments later. Got a package and I have no idea who it's from. It says it's Electronics Express, but I don't remember ordering or collabing with any like electronics companies. So I'm honestly not very sure of what we're about to open, but we're gonna open it up together and find out. This is a really big box for like electronics. I feel like I would know what this is. <gasps> oh, my mom got me an espresso machine. Oh, I love her so much. I told her I wanted an espresso machine for Christmas. She's so sweet. Cece, you've outdone yourself, lady. Oh. I didn't think she was gonna get it for me, but I've been telling her like, I'm tired of spending money at Starbucks every morning. Like, I really want an espresso machine because Louisa has one, and this one has a frother. So it's gonna make like quality. Oh my gosh. Guys, my mom is the freaking best. Like, not because she got me a gift, but she really is awesome. All moms, we don't deserve our moms. They are insanely beautiful creatures and they love wholeheartedly. It's insane. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I need to put this on my story. Oh my gosh, it looks so fancy. Oh my God, look how shiny this is. This is just the catcher. Oh, and here are the, um, the coffee capsules inside. So this actually came with, let's see. Oh my God, this is so fancy. It's like a box of chocolates. It literally has this little protector. <gasps> oh, Guys, I cannot do this. Now let's get into the machine. So this is the Arochino 3. I'm actually not sure what this is. Is this, this might be the frother? I don't know, I don't make coffee. Okay, well, she looks very luxe and shiny. Oh my gosh, <gasps> it's so pretty. This is so cool, like, it looks so professional. I'm a real ass barista. Oh my God, guys, this machine is so cool. Okay, I like lifted up this open lever and look. OMG, that's so, so cool. So I guess you just like put a capsule in there. Let's just try, let's just try this one. How does it go in? I think it goes in like that. So apparently if you use it like for the first time, you should like do water only. So I'm doing like a cleaning out of it first and it's gonna start heating up the water that's filled up back here. And yeah, this is definitely the frother machine. I'm so excited. Hey, this is our first cup of coffee. Oh my God, I can tell it's already gonna be amazing. It's literally like thick. Oh my God. Someone set up on my story and they like sent me a video of their Nespresso machine and they were like, it's literally gonna be the best coffee you've ever had, like better than any coffee shop. So I'm so excited. I'm trying to use the frother and I ended up putting this creamer in there. I don't know if that's completely wrong to put creamer in a frother. And I think I'm doing this right, but honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, but the coffee's done. I've 
ever taste. <laughs> Guys, you need an espresso machine. Holy shit. I wish that was an ad because that would have been the most organic advertisement for an espresso. God damn, that was a good cup of coffee. That tastes like Christmas. I'm so glad I got this. Best Christmas gift ever. Okay, now that all that Nespresso drama is dealed with or done, what? I don't even know. English is hard. I honestly didn't sweat that much today at the gym and I need to shoot a video for Princess Polly. So I'm just going to wash my face. I usually just like sweat on my face if I do sweat anywhere. We're gonna wash our face. I like to use a headband before I start washing my face. Weirdly enough, I used to not and I would just get all my hair wet and I was like, this is so difficult. I always get my hair wet. Like, how do I fix this? Buy a fucking headband. Uh, this is from Keaton's, Keaton and Nat's brand, Twin Flames. I also have it in blue. Super cute, you guys should check out their stuff. I also have their hoodies and shorts and they're such good quality. I'll probably put it on after I wash my face. But let's get into it. So I got this from my dermatologist. It is Skin Better Science Cleanser. I used to use the SkinCeuticals cleanser, which is still amazing, but I ran out and um, I ended up buying this one. I also feel like once you use a product for a certain amount of time, your skin gets super used to it and it doesn't have as much effect as it did when you first bought it. So now I'm using this one and I um, do like one pump because a little goes a long way. Like that just spread everywhere and it was just one pump. So that's what she said. And it also like oxidizes on your face. So that's why it turned white so fast. That's what she said. Also, these towels are from Parachute. Parachute is the best for anything cloth-wise, like bedding. I have the linen parachute bedding and it's freaking amazing. And then I have their towels. I also have a robe from them that I'm obsessed with. It's, if you watch my TikToks, the one robe that I'm wearing in all my TikToks, it's from Parachute, it's amazing. It's so soft and I accidentally shrank it in the dryer. So I'm a little sad because I think it's a really expensive robe and it, it hurt, it really did hurt, but it's a great robe. Great towels, great bedding, great pillowcases, sheets are the next thing that I'm gonna get from them. Perfect, I really love Parachute. It's expensive, but it is very much worth it. Like I said, I keep my skincare routine very short. So we're gonna put on the Feelist CBD face oil. I just really love how this has been making my skin feel lately. I've been feeling extra dry lately. I feel as if my skin actually soaks up this oil rather than it sitting on my face and that is the one thing I dread, the feeling of oil sitting on my face. The old Henriksen gel cream. So if you've watched my older videos, I used to like die and stand by the Belief moisturizer, but I don't work with Belief. They don't send me free Belief. And I've had so many skincare companies send me moisturizers at like Drunk Elephant and then obviously Ole Henriksen. I have so many moisturizers. There's just like no need for me to go buy Belief with my own money. But I do love Belief a lot, and honestly, if they're doing like a Christmas sale, I actually might buy one. So, let me, don't take anything I say seriously, honestly. <laughs> I'm also gonna use this Banana Bright Serum. I, I just like how it makes my skin feel. Like it feels like juicy and refreshing, I guess. So, that's enough product. I feel like I just put on a million things on my face. I'm gonna let this dry off. And then I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm really not feeling motivated. It's just so gloomy out. And, um, but we got this. We can do this. We got this. I'm gonna get changed and start setting up to film right here in my closet hallway and um, redo the video that I shot the other day because I didn't follow the requirements. So sis has gotta fix it. And yeah. 
So I got this diffuser on Amazon and it came with like a whole box of a ton of different essential oils. I am diffusing clove and it's very soothing so we love her and she also lights up different colors so she'll be like purple or pink at night and she's super cute i just finished filming well refilming the tiktok that i made yesterday oh my gosh the back of this top is so sexy hi these boots are nasty gal and this skirt and top is princess Pole. I'm really loving my hair up in a bun with these side swept bangs. Let's talk about the reality of shooting these TikToks. Now, when I do multiple outfit changes, it becomes very messy. So this is what we've got going on over here. I've got some clothes on my papasan. I hang all of my collab clothes up there. We got all my accessories, all my purses. I used a mug in the video too. Got more clothes, some shoes, ring light, of course. I used this uh, candle, Mart espresso martini, as a prop. Um, we got some clothes over there. It's just like, it gets messy, and that's just for one video. I have to put all of it away. All right, um, but I just sent in my video for approval, so I actually do have to do one more video, so. And I already have makeup on. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Mm. Struggling, guys. Welcome. To cooking with summer it is 9 30 p.m i just got off the phone with me mother and i just got like dragged into updating her about every minuscule event in my life so we're just now cooking dinner um i'm also so wired from drinking so much coffee so what we've got on the menu tonight gonna cook some chicken some mashed potatoes, quinoa, sweet corn. I really love getting the steak plate at Flower Child with mashed potatoes and sweet corn and quinoa. So I'm gonna try and recreate it, except I don't have any steak. I just got chicken because it's easier. We've got the quinoa boiling up in her. We got the potatoes boiling. We got the rest of the chicken cooking. Those are some nice thighs. You guys ask for what I eat in a day, and honestly, it really differs, and I'm not a cook by any means. Like, please do not judge this meal. Like, Gordon, if you're watching, exit now because you're going to yak, but this is the meal. Like, don't zoom in. Just look at it from this distance and, like, close one eye and then, like, close the other, and that's my meal. So this is what I'm eating for tonight. Um, I don't usually cook for myself. I get like into random spurts where I cook for like a week and then the next two weeks I'll eat out because I'm just so busy and I'm like, I'm just so tired. I just want to order some food. So this is my Walmart version of Flower Child. So it's not the best. It could be way better, <laughs> but it's food and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I am, after I'm done eating, I'm gonna read my favorite book that I've showed you guys, Make the Most of You by Patrick Lindsay. I'm gonna read some pages out of it and um, reflect and just kind of jot it down in my planner. I have a note section in my planner and as I make my to-do list um, and my timetable for tomorrow, I'm gonna just, you know, write down some notes from the book and like things that I'm grateful for and just like write all my thoughts down after this long day of working and listening to the vile files. So I love you all and I hope you have a great night and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.